about just how you got the idea for it. Even. I, you know, I, I, I've been asked that several times and I, I, I wish I had some, uh, some, you know, blinding moment of clarity with the concept for, you know, Winterstead Hollow, but um, it, it started pretty organically. I mean, most of the stuff that I write starts with some sort of what if premise um and then you know for instance for this book it was sort of what if your favorite childhood story was real and uh, i thought that was the intro and i sort of sat down and just started to try to grow it into a story i liked you know it was a lot of work but i'm, I'm happy with the result you know yeah i'm sure it was hard work um, so, so reading it from the beginning, I, you know, it, it kind of starts out with like, I guess, um, you know, they go, so they go to the to the island um, to yep. see to see the house of the writer. It, it starts out with like an Alice in Wonderland type vibe, you know. Yeah. Um, they follow the rabbit to, through the maze with the chessboard and all the rest of it, you know, and it's it's kind of. But then it just becomes so dark. I I I didn't know how dark it was going to get. Like obviously from yeah. from talking to yourself, I knew it was going to get dark, but it gets very dark. <laughs> it it does. It gets uh. It does get dark, and you know my. My stuff sort of tends to just steer itself in that direction. Um, I like starting in one place and moving into another throughout the story in a way that is maybe feels a little unexpected, but, but I like that. Those are the kind of stories I like to write. Um, you know, a lot of people call it a, you know, a genre blender or whatever other term, you know, they want to use for that. But, uh, but I, I sort of like that. I like uh, stories that start, in a place that feels grounded and feels real and feels uh, identifiable. Um, and then, you know, at some point they just sort of twist on some sort of genre convention. And from there, um, the direction changes. And I like, uh, I like the momentum of that sort of thing. Um, you know, um, if it's, if it's done correctly, you know, it's, it's, I, I don't always do it well. <laughs> you know, sometimes, it's hard, <laughs> sometimes it's hard to do in a way that feels organic, you know, yeah um but uh but yeah but i like that i like you know the idea was to sort of have the reader start to feel safe and secure in this world um and then to sort of have that not be the case at a certain point you know i like the dynamic of that yeah it's because they it's curious because obviously you know the guys are they're dealing with their own issues and things as well but the book the it, so just for the listeners, you know, this is wonderful because the, the book means a lot to, to them um, and they want to celebrate mm. the early day by going to the, to the house, you know, of the, of the author. And it's, you know, for Eamon and everything, it's it's been a book that's kind of like helped them through some tough times and everything. And then, of course, um, I don't want to give spoilers in the sense that like, it's usually tight, what we tough. do is we, yeah. we, we try to sort of give an idea of like what happens early in the novel, but then we never spoil like anything from the end, you know, so they go sure, to the house. Sure, sure. And of course, they they meet the characters like the actual yeah. characters from the from the from the the, the the poems and things are all put in beautifully as well and um it's it's this weird juxtaposition of like a nice happy little i mean it's not a happy story because obviously with the buffalo and everything but it's like peaceful little ch- children's cartoon kind of vibes and then yeah, suddenly so- like horrible murderous vibes <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah i mean i you know i the i sort of getting the vibe of the book within the book i sort of wanted it to be somewhere between like oh, Watership Down and Winnie the Pooh, you know, somewhere in there. Uh, uh, um, childish vibe, the uh, sort of uh, innocent vibe, um, but um, dealing with some adult issues, some life issues, you know. And I, it, it was important for me to have anybody reading my book to be able to sort of feel what the characters feel for the book within the book. You know, so um, it was important for me to get that right because I felt like that had to be that had to be an anchor point that was like correct. Um, that that you know the book within the book had to be mean something it had to mean something and it had to be um, it had to be well done enough for people to enjoy it. You know, just as much as the novel itself. Um, you yeah. know, that was that was super important to me, and um, uh, I, yeah. You know, um, and I got to be honest with you, that was one of my favorite parts of writing this was sort of doing the, the epic poem that's within the book. Uh, I, I really, really enjoyed that. Um, so I, I, I had a blast doing it. Um, but, yeah, I'd say it'd be, it'd be a fun uh, but yeah, I mean, yeah. It, uh, yeah, it gets a little dark and 
Yes. Yeah, it is. You know, I've had a couple of people say, well, I just want to buy the, I just want to buy the companion piece to this, which is like just that book, <laughs> you know, the whole, the whole thing. Yeah. Um, so I, you know, I, I thought about maybe doing that if I have some free time at some point. Um, but, uh, been, been, also, you think you might you might do that, maybe? Yeah, I, th- I think it would be I think it would be great. But I suppose you have that fear of you don't want you know because it's essentially perfect as it is, and you don't want to go back in, and and then you have the fear that you'll take away from what you've already done or something, you know. Well, that's true. Um, you know, it's it's a tough lesson to learn. Um, you, you know, I, I feel like as a as a writer, really, as any artist, you know, one of the, one of the really hardest things is when do I stop. You know, when is it done? Like, when do I leave yeah. it be? Uh, you know, when is, a, when is a painting finished? When is one brushstroke too much? You know, um, when is this editing process, you know, finally over with? But, you know, that's, that's a really tough thing. Let me ask you then, um, of, the, of the animal characters, which is your favorite? Mm-hmm. That's a really hard question. My favorite started as uh, Ronnie uh, because yeah. he was the most sort of present during the first draft of the book. Um, but I think as the drafts sort of progressed, um, the one that changed the most was, was Bing, the bear. Mm-hmm. Um, and once I was able to sort of like flesh out his arc to a degree that I was happy with it. I I I, I don't know. I just like developed this big old soft spot for him. <laughs> Runny, um, Runny's my favorite. I just I know, from the beginning. So I, I think he might be my favorite, but I, I, I there's different things that there's different pieces of me in each of them. Um mm. so it's it's a really hard question. To, I feel like I'm probably as neurotic as Runny is. Uh, I like to cook a lot, like, you know, like Flockwell does. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like we all have a little bit of Finn in us. Yeah, I suppose, I suppose we do to an extent. Finn is vicious. Finn's a, a vicious fellow. <laughs> well, I like to try to make my antagonists um, gray, you know? Um, yeah. As opposed to, you can identify with them. Um, you know, that they feel sort of, you know, complete and and well-rounded. Um, and that you can... Uh, tell me this, what, um, what you know, because this is the only novel, obviously, of yours that, I, that I've read. You know, what, what other yeah. stuff do you, do you write? Um, so this is my first book, um, my first full-length book. I... Uh, I, I was a, a screenwriter for a number of years, actually. Um, you know, writing a script isn't about, I mean, it's not about prose or, or anything along those lines. It's just basically pure story and just sort of the mechanics of narrative. I felt like I got a really good handle on that end of things from my years, you know, just sort of doing that. So, um, you know, the the two you know, the, the two mediums are extraordinarily different. Um, and so it, you know, took me a minute to sort of figure out those differences, you know, in a way that allowed me to, um, you know, I think read a, read a good book, um, you know, um, diff- different things for sure, but, you know, they all, they all train different, they train different muscles different creative muscles you know mm-hmm, mm-hmm. um but by the time i was sort of done writing scripts i felt like i had a um a, a good i had to find my form again when it came to you know prose and, and book structure and you know things along those lines so uh, it, it's interesting how those two uh, the two things sort of uh, connect and you know disconnect and um, it was uh it was an interesting switch you know for sure but certainly one i'm glad i made so what's next um so uh another book for sure um i just started uh developing um what i am 
ninety percent sure is going to be the next one, um, which 